welcome back to the Christian Prodigy. Today we are going over Leviticus 22 and 23. So let's get right into it. Chapter 22. The Lord said to Moses, Tell Aaron and his sons to treat with respect the scarce offerings the Israelites consecrate to me, so they will not profane my holy name. I am the Lord. Say to them, For the generations to come, if any of your descendants is ceremonially unclean and yet comes near the scarce offerings that the Israelites consecrate to the Lord, that person must be cut off from my presence. I am the Lord. If a descendant of Aaron has defiled, has a defiled skin disease, has a defiling skin disease, or a bodily discharge, he may not eat the scarce offerings until he is cleansed. He will also be unclean if he touches something defiled by a corpse, or by anyone who has an emission of semen or if he touches any crawling thing that makes him unclean, or any person that makes him unclean. Whatever the uncleanliness may be, the one who touches any such thing will be unclean till evening. He must not eat any of the scarce offerings unless he has bathed himself with water. When the sun goes down, he will be clean, and after that he may eat the scarce offerings, for they are his food. He must not eat anything found dead or torn by wild animals, and so become unclean through it. I am the Lord. The priests are to perform my service in such a way that they do not become guilty and die for treating it with contempt. I am the Lord, who makes them holy. No one outside a priest's family may eat the scarce offering nor may the guest of a priest or his hired worker eat it. But if a priest buys a slave with money, or if slaves are born in his, in his household, they may eat his food. If a priest's daughter marries anyone other than a priest, she may not eat any of the scarce contribu contribu contributions. But if a priest's daughter becomes a widow, or is divorced, yet has no children, and she returns to live in her father's household as her as in her youth, she may eat her father's food. No unauthorized person, however, may eat it. Anyone who eats a scarce offering by mistake must make restitution to the priest for the offering and add a fifth of the value to it. The priests must not desecrate the scarce offerings the Israelites present to the Lord by allowing them to eat the scarce offerings, and so bring upon them guilt requiring payment. I am the Lord, who makes them holy. Unacceptable Sacrifices The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and to all the Israelites, and say to them, if any of you, whether an Israelite or a foreigner residing in Israel, presents a gift for a burnt offering to the Lord, either, fulfill, either to fulfill a vow or as a free will offering, you must present a male without defect from the cattle, sheep or goats, in order that it may be accepted on your behalf. Do not bring anything with a defect, because... It will not be accepted on your behalf. When anyone brings from, from the herd or flock a fellowship offering to the Lord to fulfill a special vow or as a free will offering, it must be without defect or blemish to be acceptable. Do not offer to the Lord the blind, the injured, or the, maim or the maimed or anything with warts or festering or running sores, do not place any of these on the altar as a food offering presented to the Lord. You may, however, present it, present as a free will offering as an offering, present as a free will offering an ox or a sheep that is deformed or stunted, or stunted, but it will not be accepted in fulfillment of a vow. You must not offer to the Lord an animal whose testicles are bruised, cr 
crushed or torn or cut. You must not do this in your own land, and you must not accept such animals from the hand of a foreigner and offer them as the food of your God. They will not be accepted on your behalf because they are deformed and have defects. The Lord said to Moses, When a calf, a lamb, or a goat is born, it is to remain with its mother for seven days. From the eighth day on, it will be acceptable as a food offering presented to the Lord. Do not slaughter a cow or a sheep and its young on the same day. When you sacrifice a think, a think offering to the Lord, sacrifice it in a way that it will be accepted on your behalf. It must be eaten that same day. Leave none of it till morning. I am the Lord. Keep my commandments and follow them. I am the Lord. Do not profane my holy name. Do not profane my holy name, for I must be acknowledged as holy by the Israelites. I am the Lord who made you holy and who brought you up and who brought you out of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord. Chapter 23, the appointed festivals. The Lord said to Moses, speak to the Israelites and say to them, these are my, are, these are my appointed festivals. The appointed festivals of the Lord, which you are to proclaim as scarce assemblies. The Sabbath, there are six days when you may work, but the seventh day is a day of Sabbath rest, a day of scarce assembly. You are not to do any work. Wherever you live, it is a Sabbath to the Lord. The Passover and the festival of unleavened bread. These are the Lord's appointed festivals. The scarce assemblies you are to proclaim at their appointed times. The Lord's Passover begins at twilight on the 14th day of the first month. On the 15th day of that month, the Lord's festival and of unleavened bread begins. For seven days you must eat bread made without yeast. On the first day, hold a scarce assembly and do not write and do no regular work. For seven days, present a food offering to the Lord. And on the seventh day, hold a scarce assembly and do not and do no regular work. Offering the first fruits. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, When you enter the land I am going to give you, and you reap its harvest, bring to the priest a sheaf of the first grain you harvest. He is to wave the sheaf before the Lord, so it will be accepted on your behalf. The priest is to wave it on the day after the Sabbath. On the day you wave the sheaf, you must sacrifice a burnt offering to the Lord, a lamb a year old, without defect, together with its grain offering of two tenths of an elaf of the finest flour mixed with olive oil, a food offering presented to the Lord, a pleasing aroma, and its drink offering of a quarter of a hen of wine. You must not eat any bread or roasted or new grain until the very day you bring this offering to your God. This is to be a lasting ordinance for the generation to come wherever you live. The Festival of Weeks From the day after the Sabbath, the day you brought the sheaf of, we of the wave offering, count off seven full weeks. Count off fifty days up to the day after the seven after the seventh Sabbath, Sabbath, and then present an offering of new grain to the Lord from wherever you live. Bring two loaves made of two tenths of an elaf of the finest flour baked with yeast as a wave offering of first fruits to the Lord. Present with this bread seven male lambs, each a year old, and without defect, one young bull and two rams, they will be a burnt offering to the Lord, together with their grain offerings and drink offerings, a food offering, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. 
then sacrifice one male goat for a sin offering and two lambs, each in a year old, for a fellow, for a fellowship offering. The priest is to wave the two lambs before the Lord as a wave offering. Together with the bread of the first fruits, they are a scarce offering to the Lord for the priest. On that same day, you are to proclaim a scarce assembly and do no regular work. This is to be a lasting ordinance for the generations to come wherever you live. When you reap the harvest of your land, do not reap to the very edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. Leave them for the poor and for the foreigner residing among you. I am the Lord your God. The Festival of Trumpets. The Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, On the first day of the seventh month, you are to have a day of Sabbath rest, a scarce assembly commemorated with trumpet blasts. Do no regular work, but present a food offering to the Lord. The Day of Atonement. The Lord said to Moses, The tenth day of this seventh month is the Day of Atonement. Hold a scarce assembly and, def and deny yourselves, and present a food offering to the Lord. Do not do, do not do any work on that day, because it is the Day of Atonement. When atonement is made for you made before the Lord, your God, those who do not deny themselves on that day must be cut off from their people. I will destroy from among their people anyone who does any work on that day. You shall do no work at all. This is to be a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. Wherever you live, it is a day of Sabbath rest for you. And you must deny yourselves from the evening of the ninth day of the month until the following evening you are to observe your Sabbath. The Festival of Tabernacles. The Lord said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, the Lord's Festival of Tabernacles begins, and it lasts for seven days. The first day is a scarce assembly. Do no regular work. For seven days present food offerings to the Lord, and on the eighth day hold a scarce assembly, and present a food offering to the Lord. It is the, regu it is the closing special assembly. Do no regular work. These are the Lord's appointed festivals, which you are to proclaim as scarce assemblies for bringing food offerings to the Lord, the burnt offerings and grain offerings, sacrifices and drink offerings required for each day. These offerings are in addition to those for the Lord's Sabbaths and in addition to your gifts and whatever you have vowed and all the free will offerings you give to the Lord. So beginning with the 15th day of the seventh month, after you have gathered the crops of the land, celebrate the festival to the Lord of, for seven days. The first day is the Sabbath rest, and the eighth day is also a day of Sabbath rest. On the first day, you are to take branches from trees, from palms, willows, and other leafy trees, and rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. Celebrate this as a festival to the Lord for seven days each year. This is to be a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. Celebrate it in the seventh month. Live in temporary shelters for seven days. All native-born Israelites are to live in such shelters so your descendants will know that I had the Israelites live in temporary shelters when I brought them out of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. So Moses announced to the Israelites the appointed festivals of the Lord. So that is Leviticus 22 through 23. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. If you're new, consider subscribing. As we close out of the video today, I would like to bring your guys' attention to both my merch shop and my shop. Now, 
Both of these I've been working on for quite some time. I started my merch shop, I believe in 2021, something around there. And my shop I started just last year. Both have not been doing very well at all, but I figured I would bring it to your guys' attention. Both of them have great items that you might love and you may want. So the links will be in the description of the video for both of those. So if you're interested in what I might have on both of them, go ahead and check it out. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.